The approaching winter storm is halting winter travel. Airlines already canceled flights across the country. So looking forward to the next few days, it might be best to stay home for Christmas. But what happens if you happen to venture out? Erie News Now's Marissa Thomas explains. Erie County Department of Safety issued a media release urging residents not to travel for the holiday weekend. But if there's no choice, emergency management specialist Dan Lohenheim has a few tips to stay safe. Uh, but if, if travel becomes necessary and people are traveling, we recommend having blankets in the vehicle, extra clothing to stay warm with, a flashlight, some extra water, also some snacks. The storm is expected to start on Thursday with strong winds that can knock down power lines. And heading into the weekend, the temperature drop can cause problems for the roads. At these roadways are going to be uh, uh, subjected to these really cold temperatures as well. And there can be some flash freezes on the roadways and some really icy and slippery road conditions. So please allow extra time between vehicles and uh, also extra time getting to your destination if, if you are traveling this weekend. First warning weather John Stalen explains the quick decline in temperature isn't just a problem for roadways. It is going to be cold. We're talking single digits and zero highs inland throughout the afternoon, coupled with wind chills that could be 20 to 30 below. And if you're not driving and you're out in the in the in the elements, we're talking wind chills that could cause frostbite within five to ten minutes. This particular storm is expected to get worse over the next few days. For those on the road, and at home. If we got winds of 50, 60 miles an hour gusting and just a couple of inches of snow, that reduces visibility out of roadways. It creates snow drifts, which cause issues for people in their homes getting in and out. So uh, there's a lot of components to this storm. We're basically getting every weather possibility for winter into one storm. Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now. Now there are already some vehicle restrictions in place ahead of the impending storm. A tandem and empty truck trailer ban takes effect Friday on Interstate 90 in western New York. 